Steve. You set a career high. Uh, you tied your career high in total rebounds. You set a career high in offensive rebounds. First Grizzly player in franchise history to have twenty back to back twenty rebound games. What is your mentality on the boards? Josh said you're in the trenches. Is that the way you want to describe it? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means, but yep, I'll agree with him. In the trenches, mate. In the bloody trenches. No real strategy, bro. Just bloody, just trying to go after the boards. Hmm. I haven't looked at the stats. I don't know if this if it backs it up, but just from watching games, it seems like you're dunking the ball more, getting more lift this season. Do, do you feel that way? Do you feel like you know you're healthier or springier than you were a year ago, or or not? Uh, sure. I don't know. I dunk the ball. Try not to, bro. It's too much energy, dude. I'm tired out there. <laughs> it takes too much energy. Steven, uh, 24 hour span, you know, yesterday you go against a big guy in Zion, and this day, you, you know, it's not as big. So, how you make the adjustment, you know, on a day to day with such a quick turnaround with those two different types of styles? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not that difficult. I mean, it's a, it's a challenge. Both of them are a challenge. Um, they both pose different threats and whatnot. So, uh, the physical part of it, you could say it's like kind of the same, but they're both physical in different ways. You know what I'm saying? It's still tough, um, but yeah, it was very like big dominant. So they, the, the both the teams they play through the bigs. You know what I'm saying? So like today, it's like Fox and Sabonis, two main squeezes. Yesterday it was Zion and stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Zion and Valachunas as well, big body. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of taxing, man. But like yeah, you just gotta just find your find your spots, pick and choose your battles where you can. You know what I mean? And try and like uh, conserve your energy the best you can. It's, it's just about efficiency as opposed to just redlining every time. If you redline, bro, then, I mean, within three minutes, you're going to be done. And then they'll get whatever they want because you'll be behind and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, English, it's good enough answer, eh? Yeah, sure. Thanks, bro. Sweet. Uh, Stephen, uh, the Grizzly play really aggressive in the paint tonight. Uh, would you credit this win to you guys being really aggressive and physical both offensively and defensively in the paint? Uh, yeah, well, we, we knew that they um, this team they struggle at the at the rim. They have no rim protection, or like any presence at the rim. Um, so that was our main goal was just to attack the paint, attack the paint. Um, that's our goal in general. Like we're we're a big point on the paint team, um, but our whole strategy is trying to touch the paint because then that forces the rotations. Then you could start swinging it out, play from there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we're, we're kind of lagging in the first quarter, but we managed to bounce back and. Yeah, just try to get them into foul trouble, really go at the rim instead of settling for floaters and whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve, so, you know, everyone talks about the rebounding, but you're also putting up career best numbers with blocks. Just, you know, you know the, the, drop, the drop coverage activity, the offensive rebound, just how much you just kind of relish all those stuff that you got to just do in the trenches to help your team win? Uh... Relish? What's relish? What's that? I thought that was food, huh? Enjoy it. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like, I mean, that's just it's like it's just part of our job, dude. Like as the bigs, uh, it's just part of our coverage. Yeah, we enjoy, it, but we enjoy just getting a stop, so we don't have to play any more defense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the main, the main thing. The less defense we could play, the better. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that starts with the, that, we, that's why we try and emphasize the defensive rebounding. That's why it's so, such a demoralizing thing. If you give out offensive rebounds, dude, then you have to, that's like a 14 second shot clock. You have to play defense again, dude, it's tough, you know? So, yeah, man, just trying to be active and like, it's just uh, more trust. I think I'm more comfortable in the system, getting more comfortable. Like last year, it was like a bit of a learning curve on how players move and how they, if they're in front or not, it's kind of weird reads, um, the body language. But I think I'm getting used to, yeah, just reading the players a bit better when they need help, when not to, and shit like this. Every coach that comes in Memphis says we gotta stop Memphis for scoring in the paint, mm -hmm. but yet no one can really stop Memphis from scoring in the paint. Why are you guys so good in scoring in the paint? Um, the main squeeze is Ja. Um, he's just tough to stop, mate. You know. So getting him, getting him to stop going in the paint. Like you can't, let's say he stops scoring in the paint, dude, you can't. It's kind of like saying like, oh, we're going to stop them from shooting threes. They're going to shoot a three, you know what I mean? But you just need it to be like tough threes or something like this, you know what I mean? So 
I mean, those were those are probably what the coaches mean. Like, if they could get us out of the restricted paint, that's that's probably a win. If they keep us in like the floater area, kind of mid paint area, it's probably a win for them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're probably just trying to emphasize that. But it's still a tough job, dude. Because you got Jar just going, yeah, he's ridiculous. He's a tough dude to stop. And it's just like we have constant movement too, to for all our offenses just for us to attack the paint. There's there's is in there. There's a three-point threat. That means that there's a hole in the defense to where you could actually attack. There's no shift. It's yeah, it's it's tough, man. Especially when we're flowing. Like we're a big transition team, even if it's like a slow transition. Those are those are just tough to defend, you know. Cool. No more. Thanks. Sweet. Thank you. No more. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs>